So ever since Facepunch implemented us having to purchase our mini copters from the bandit camp, it has become increasingly more and more difficult to obtain a mini copter. Well, there are plugins out there that will make it a lot easier. It'll make it so that you can claim your own mini copter just for yourself. And to those of you that have used this plugin in the past, I'm here to tell you today that there's been an exciting update and I'm gonna show you guys all about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you guys some of the pitfalls and traps that you guys might fall into as you're trying to set up your servers. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, if you take any value out of this video, smash that like button for me at the end. So like I said in the intro of the video, mini copters are becoming very hard to find. They're no longer spawning on the side of the road. So unless you've come across somebody that has abandoned their mini copter, they're pretty hard to find and then the price of them to purchase them from the bandit camp is also extremely high unless you're playing on a modded server. Well there is a plugin out there that will allow us to actually spawn in our own mini copter and I'm sure many of you have heard of this before it's now called spawn mini and it's by spooks au and it's available from the umod website. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. This plugin used to be called my mini I don't know if it's the same plugin rewritten or if this is a completely different plugin I'm not really sure either way the functionality is almost exactly the same. So there's one new feature that has just recently been added to this plugin and there's another feature that I want to show you guys about that some of you may not know about. So let's hop into the file manager for my test server and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you've never installed a UMod plugin before, I suggest you check out the video in the top right hand corner right now. It shows you exactly how to install the plugin when you download it from the UMod website. And it also shows you exactly what things should look like along the way so that you know that you're doing the right things. So if we just navigate to my Oxide config folder, you will see spawnmini.json. That's exactly what we want to be talking about. And as you can see here, if you've seen this plugin in the past, it might look a little bit different to you now. I'll go through each one of these things separately. This will just take a minute. So the top line is just what prefab we want to spawn in when we're actually using this command. In this case, it's the mini copter. Of course, that's what we want to be spawning in. The second line in the config is can spawn building blocks. So do you want your players to be able to spawn this even though they're building blocks as in they're on somebody else's base or in somebody else's base? Do you want them to be able to spawn in a mini? If you do want them to be able to change this toggle to true and they'll be able to spawn in a mini even though they're building blocks. The next line is, is how much distance can there be from the mini copter to the player before they're no longer able to do slash no mini? Based basically which destroys their mini copter and then allows them to recreate another one down the road. So do you want your players to be able to do slash no mini from all the way across the map? Well, you would want to increase this number to probably 4,000 or something like that. Same thing with max spawn distance. How far away from the player can they be before they can spawn in a mini? You'll find that this is a little bit finicky if you have this number too short. Like from default, this is set at five. I find that's a little bit too short and you find that your character actually has to be looking down at the ground a little bit before it'll even allow them to spawn in a mini. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll increase this to 10 or 15, which does make it spawn a little bit further away from the player. However, you run into less opportunities for it to error out saying you're trying to spawn in a mini from too far away which you will find. Now, the one feature that was just recently added in, which is actually pretty exciting, owner and team can mount and you can set this to either true or false. From default, it's set to false. So basically what we can do is we can make it so that if somebody, if you or a member on your team spawns in a mini, only you or your team members can ever mount that mini going forward. By default, this feature is set to false. If you want this to be locked to the teams only, change that toggle to true. And the other cool feature of this plugin that I wanted to show you guys is that it's actually set up in tiers for cooldown time. So by default, tier one is 24 hours, 86,400 seconds. Tier two by default is set at 43,200, which is 12 hours. And tier three is set at 21,600 seconds, which is every six hours. You can of course change these to whatever you want. I find 24 hours is a really long time. Depending on the environment of your server though, you're gonna have to adjust these accordingly. Once we actually get in game, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually manage these different tiers. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave all of these at the default settings. You guys have a pretty good idea of what you can change and what you can do on your servers. So let's just hop in game real quick and I'll show you exactly how this all functions and I'll show you how to deal with the permissions. So once we're actually in our game server, we can just do slash admin and that will bring up our admin menu, which allows us to control our permissions. There's another permissions manager that you can use out there. I've done videos on both of these. I'll put the link in the top right hand corner right now. Of course, you guys can check those out later. Two very powerful tools for dealing with permissions. I know permissions seems to be a little bit confusing for a lot of people. That's okay. Don't feel bad about that. Just use these tools and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. 
So let's go into permissions. Let's go to group permissions and let's deal with the default group right now. And I'll just get rid of that overlay there because it was cutting off some of the permissions. So if we have a look at this spawn mini section, this is what we want to deal with right here. So this is a fairly standard permission setup for your default player group. So you want them to be able to do slash my mini. You also want them to be able to do slash no mini. These are decisions that you need to make for your server. Maybe you don't necessarily want your players to be able to destroy their mini. I'm not sure. But if you do want them to be able to destroy their mini, then you'll have to enable this permission right here. Spawn mini dot no mini. Let me just hop back here and I'm just going to go into the admin group and I'll show you some of the things that I do differently for my admins. So spawn mini dot F mini, which basically allows whoever has this permission granted to them, it makes it so that they can bring their mini from wherever it is to wherever they are currently. So if they've lost it or whatever, they forgot to take their mini or whatever, and they want to bring it to where they are, they can do slash F mini and that will bring their mini copter directly to them. Another thing that I enable for my admins or moderators is no CD, which basically translates to no cooldown. So all of the cooldowns that we're going to talk about here in a minute, they do not apply to people that have this permission enabled. Spawn mini dot no decay, pretty clear. If you have this permission enabled, obviously your slash my mini, your mini copter will not decay over time. So as long as it doesn't take any damage, it'll literally last forever. And then the other one in the top right hand corner is unlimited fuel pre self explanatory no fuel requirements for this mini whoever has this permission enabled if they do a slash my mini they will not require any fuel they'll never run out of fuel they never have to refill their fuel no fuel requirements at all so going back to the group called default i don't know why i just decided to so we've got spawn mini tier one tier two and tier three well, you saw me earlier in the config, I was determining how long those cooldown times are going to be for each one of those tiers. Tier 1 is 24 hours, Tier 2 is 12 hours, and Tier 3 is 6 hours. So whichever player or groups of players that have these individual permissions granted to them, it's going to adjust their cooldown time. So if you want your default group to have a 24 hour cooldown on their my mini, you could just use spawn mini dot tier one and that will make everyone in the default group to have a 24 hour cooldown by default. You can, of course, change that to whatever you want. And then we can use tiers two and tier three for, let's say, VIP groups or premium players, however you've got it worked out on your server. So that's not really something that I can demonstrate for you. However, you get the idea. You can control which groups of players have which cooldowns and you can you can of course adjust those cooldowns to whatever you want them to be. Definitely one of the very cool features that I like about this plugin. I actually use this feature in real life on my live servers. The other cool new feature of this plugin is allowing whoever spawns in the mini to have it locked to just them and their team members, which is pretty cool. It basically makes it so that if you forget your mini or you leave your mini at your base or somebody is raiding your base, they cannot steal your mini providing that the owner of the server, i.e. you, has toggled this feature on on the config for Spawn Mini. So up until just a couple of days ago, when we were using this plugin after the July 2020 update of Rust, whenever we did a slash my mini, it would automatically spawn in with more fuel than we ever intended. That wasn't something that we as server owners were able to control at the time. However, now it doesn't spawn in with any fuel in it, which is great. I'm glad the developer of that plugin recognized that that was a problem and went ahead and fixed it. So we no longer have to worry about people being able to spawn in minis and getting an actual astronomical amount of fuel out of the transaction. All right, so after we have the plugin installed and we've got our permissions all dealt with, let's actually test this out and make sure that it's actually working the way that we want it to. So once we're in game, we can just do slash my mini just like that. And if we're if we're looking straight ahead, this is the message that you're going to get. You're trying to spawn the mini copter too far away. This is what I was talking about earlier. You might want to increase that distance in your config file in order to prevent this from happening. So what I do, I either change that value in my config file or I actually just look down at the ground a little bit and I can do the same thing and it will spawn it right in front of me. And because I have the permission granted to my admin group, no fuel requirements, I can't even access the fuel storage. So I would be able to jump in and just immediately fly away. This is all good. If you have the F mini permission granted, you're able to do slash F mini. And I don't know if you can see it off in the distance, but right in the middle of the screen, you can see my mini sitting on the beach down there. If I do slash F mini, 
it will bring my mini copter directly right on top of me. So be aware, if you have this permission granted in your server and you start seeing minis flying all over the place, that the potential that somebody is just doing slash F mini is probably what's going on. And then of course, if we do slash no mini, it destroys our mini copter, which then starts the countdown timer for our cooldown. And then we can do slash my mini again, unless of course we have the permission granted to us that we don't have a cooldown timer, in which case we can just do slash my mini again. And there we go. We have our mini. If I wasn't clear enough on how the different tiers work, of course, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll do my very best to get to each and every one of your questions. In my opinion, the cooldown tiers are very clear. If it's not, of course, don't feel that you can't ask questions. This is what I'm all about here. I want to teach you guys everything that you need to know. So if you run into something that you don't understand, feel free to ask me the questions. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button for me. And of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you turn on notifications so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday.